This is really good. Mash, mash, mash. If you can smell this, this is already so exciting. Actually, itong cheese, um, this one can be a cheese spread. Eh. Welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you again to all those who have watched my other recipes. Today what I am cooking is also one of the favorites of my children. I have been cooking this since maybe 2005. Comfort food to ng mga bata and it's really very easy. Um, I understand nowadays it's so hard to go to the grocery and buy the ingredients so I'm going to make it as easy as possible for everybody. Today I'm going to be cooking we call this our big cheesy macaroni. But because of the lack of ingredients, we're not doing macaroni today. We are doing we are going to use pen and noodles. So these are the ingredients. There are two steps in making this pasta. First, we're going to make the cheese sauce. I'm going to use four kinds of cheese para talaga gustong gusto ng mga bata. Actually, this dish I want to share with everybody para sa mga anak nila, para naman natutuwa sila sa bahay. I use cheese whiz and then I mix it with a little of their pimiento flavor. And then grated cheese or quick melt or whatever. Basta i-grate na natin siya. And cream cheese. You can use any kind of cheese that you want. It's up to you. Now for the sauce, of course, uh, you have your uh, version of your spaghetti sauce. So you can do that or you can just watch how I'm doing it. But we need, of course, our tomato sauce. And then we have our ground beef. And then we have the usual onions, garlic, salt, pepper. And then when I make the sauce, I add a little bit of liver spread and beef cubes. And then when I think medyo maasim siya, I put a little bit of sugar. Okay, so we're going to start with the cheese, cheesy sauce. I'm going to use a plastic one. Hi, Cal. I don't, on a diet, you won't eat this. We can have a little. Let's put all the cheese here. Oh, yeah. Okay, Cal. So, I think what I'm preparing here, everybody has this in their pantry. Or if you don't, it's easy to... Bye. Love cheese. You love cheese? Don't we all love cheese? Love okay, that. so this is the pimiento. Okay, we mix them natin. The good thing about this dish is you may or you may not bake it. Kasi medyo mainit ang panahon ngayon, so we don't want to be baking. What we're going to do is that while the noodles is getting really very hot, we're going to put the cheese mixture na into it para it will melt. And then, we're gonna put the grated cheese. Wow. There you go. There you go. Let's put it all in <laughs> Told you everything I cook is fattening. And then, this is the cream cheese. Okay, normally, it's one bar. It's hard, but since this is the only one available, I had to buy the bigger, the biggest one. So, skin ko siya, that's why it looks this way. But this, you can use any brand. Sometimes in the direct messages, people ask me what brand to use. It's up to you as long as even whatever kind of cheese you want to use. There you go. Okay, now we are going to mash it. Okay. This is really good. Mash, mash, mash. If you can smell this, this is already so exciting. Actually, itong cheese, um, this one can be a cheese spread, eh. diba? You put in your sandwiches. See, it's so easy pa. Madali pa siyang i-durugin. Okay, you don't need a mixer for this. A little exercise for the arms. <laughs> there. Okay, you see? Na. Tapos na ang ating cheese sauce. Okay, we're done with this. Now we can start cooking our sauce. We are going to make the sauce of our penne noodles. We usually use macaroni, but it's not available, so we're using penne noodles, which the kids like also. We're going to cook the sauce just like any way or your version of spaghetti sauce. Just do it that way. Okay, yung usual natin. Okay, we put our garlic, our onions, and then I put beef cubes. Papalasa ko yun. And then we're gonna just cook the sauce. 
But let me share with you the way I do it anyway. This is hot na. Yan. Okay. Okay. I was supposed to do the onions first, but never mind. <laughs> Let's do it whatever way we want. There. And then I'm going to put my beef cube. Oops. Sorry. There. There you go. Ibirugin ko na yung beef cubes. Pwede na yan isa lang. Okay, put some pepper. Now while I'm doing this, we're boiling water na in the other kitchen. We're gonna boil water na for the pasta. What I want to do is to make it all sabay. Because gusto ko, mainit na mainit pa yung sauce, yung noodles, when I put the cheese sauce, para hindi na kailangan i-bake. But, you can bake it if you want. Okay? This is okay na. I'm going to put. Okay, we're going to cook the ground beef. You all have your ways na alam niyo na gustong-gusto ng mga anak niyo. Yung ways niyo ng spaghetti sauce niyo or ng macaroni sauce niyo. You can just do it your way and our magic will be in the sauce. Na simple lang gawin pero magugustuhan ng mga anak niyo. There. And let's put some salt. Let's cook it. There, better. <laughs> so you see, naman yan. the juice of the beef will come out. And that's gonna make it more flavorful. So how's everybody? You know, I'm so happy and very grateful for all those who have seen the fresh tomato pasta that we posted the last time. A lot of the moms made it, even mga husbands, and a lot of kids made it for their moms. So thank you very, very much for the support. When you um, send me the videos of how you cooked it, and the pictures, and how happy you made your children. Thank you. Okay, let's leave it for a bit. Let's leave it for a bit. Okay, put a lot of pepper and salt again. Okay, now I think I'm ready to pour in my tomato sauce. So kung ang kids natin, they want a little bit sweet, we'll use the Filipino style. But I'll still add a little bit of sugar. Kunting, kunting. Okay, kailangan mo lang sayang. <laughs> Walang sasayang. There you go. Okay. We're just gonna mix the sauce. You can do any version of your sauce. You can also add hot dogs or you can add mushroom. You still add mushroom. Why don't I put mushroom today? Let's just stick to the basics and then you tell me how you want it the next. See? So it's almost cooked. So I'm going to put my my liver spread. Okay, I really do this because I'm sure many of you are going to do this. It's almost ready for my liver spread. Okay, there it is. Let's put it the liver spread. Let's put it into the mixture. Okay, I like I use green oil. Okay, and then I'm going to put in some sugar. No, 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 no. Just a little brown sugar. If medyo maalat yung sauce. But we use Filipino style, so perfect blend na yan. Let's let it simmer for a while. The cheese was so easy to mix. Parang just a few minutes, meron na tayong pasta para sa ating mga anak. Napakadali niya. I just wanna let it simmer a bit. But, you know what? I know I'm done. Tignan natin. Oh my goodness. Ang sarap, kuya. Ang sarap. It's perfect. It's perfect. Wala nang dadagdag. We're done with the sauce. We're done. We're just gonna get the noodles. We'll spread it in our Pyrex. We'll put the cheese. I'll show you. So the sauce is done. The cheese sauce is also done. We're just waiting for the noodles to finish cooking. I really wanted mauna yung sauce and the cheese. So for those who feel like eating garlic bread with their cheesy macaroni, pero wala tayong mabiling French bread or garlic bread na gawa na, let's just make one at home. Okay, so I use white bread, I remove the corners, and then I'm going to, I'm going to mix. I always have this at home. I have diet lang to, di ba? No? Pang diet diet lang natin, para mabilis. So we have star margarine para garlic. So 
So, habang manambot siya, I'm going to put it here. Masarap to eh. Hmm? Bango. Masarap kasi hindi siya masyadong heavy, no? And then, dito yung sobrang garlic kanina na minced garlic doon sa for the pasta sauce, right? I'll just put it there. I'm gonna mix it. See? So, may butter na garlic butter na. And then, we put some fresh garlic. Kuya, do you like more garlic? Yes. I'll put a little more garlic. Gusto pa niyo ng garlic. And then, sabi ni Leon, lagyan ko ng parsley. Yeah, there, oh. Diba? Yung mga ganito kasi wala tayong fresh parsley ngayon. Oh, ayun na. Mix. Mix. There. More parsley, kuya? Yeah, I think you can add more. One more. Parsley. Sorry, it's messy. But, it's masarap na. <laughs> okay na. And let's spread some love. Let's spread some garlic butter love. There. Tapos ito toaster natin ng medyo tostado. Ito side lang to ha. We're going back to our baked cheesy macaroni. So our noodles done, our cheese sauce is done, and now I reheated the sauce para mainit na mainit. And we're gonna put them all together. This is very very hot. I'm gonna put it na in the Pyrex. Yan habang mainit na mainit siya. Okay, we're just going to do layer layer para lahat ng areas covered. We're so excited to eat. Everybody needs some comfort food nowadays. Okay, now the sauce. I'm going to pour. Simple. It's like our spaghetti recipe at home. Okay, you can add again if you want mushrooms. Pero the simpler the better. Kasi marami ng drama yung sauce. Eh. I will put the sauce. So another tip would be, this will be two layers. Okay, so pag two layers siya, talagang cheesy from top to bottom. Kasi diba the others, they just cook it like, they just put the cheese on top and then they bake it. So, hahanapin mo pa yung top para manasahan yung cheese. Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no! <laughs> Sorry. You know, another tip would be since we're layering it, pwede rin gawin yung lasagna to. You can um, use lasagna and layer it like this. Ito yung cheese. So, when the kids dig in, there's lots of cheese. Okay, we're gonna do the second layer. Cheese, cheese, cheese everywhere. Parang mas maganda ka yung penne noodles kasi it's bigger, di ba? What do you think, Leon? Yeah. No? Mas malaki kasi pag macaroni, masyado mag-eat. For this recipe, I used one kilo of ground beef. And dalawang packs ng 500 grams each nitong penne. Mukhang makakadalawang Pyrex tayo. One large and one smaller one. But again, hindi sayang gumawa ng marami kasi yung mga bata, kakainin nila ngayon, tapos i-ref namin, tapos tuwing may magugutom, kukuha sila ng share nila, i-microwave lang. Tapos paulit-ulit na naman, di ba? So hindi nasa sayang. There you go. Second layer. Then we'll put our sauce again. You know, pagka mainit na yung sauce mo and mainit yung noodles, hindi natin kailangan i-bake. Pero minsan, binibake natin to. If you want to bake it, just put more cheese on top, takpan na lang ng aluminum foil, and then you bake for another 15 to 20 minutes. Can you wait that long, kuya? Oh. <laughs> so sweet. My kids can't wait, kaya ginagawa ko na siya habang mainit para hindi na sila maghintay. While we're doing this, yung ating um, garlic bread na ginamit natin yung ating white bread, eh, tinutoast na. So, sabay-sabay na. There you go. Ah, no, ano mo? Parang tamang-tama din to. Kanina, I said one large and one small. I don't think so. Kasi gusto ko maraming sauce. And syempre, because this is already the second layer, we're gonna put more cheese. So, siguro si Leon, kakain muna. Titikman niya na muna to. And then, mamaya, mabake ko para sa ibang kids. Okay, so we're done with the top. Then, we'll put the cheese. Now, pwede na nating mas damihan pa to. Mmm. I think I want to bake. Kuya. It's okay, okay. Oh, uh, okay, let's bake. Okay, see, you see it this way. Nakita mo, dahil mainit yung sauce, mainit yung noodles, you can see. Kuya, can you show it? Um, it's melted na. At saka, yung cheese naman melted siya. So, kung ayaw nyo na siyang bake, kainin na natin siya. Okay? That's your option. And again, you can use the same recipe kung gusto nyo gumawa ng lasagna, pero kailangan i-bake na rin. Kuya, this is ready na. We'll eat it na. So, no more oven. You want to i-bake pa? Yeah, okay. Ikaw, mas masarap yata ko i-bake, no? <laughs> Nagtatalo pa kami ni Leon kung i-bake pa namin or hindi. Medyo gutom na kami. <laughs> All you need is your basic spaghetti recipe 
And then you just add that four cheese that I put, cheese Swiss, cheese Swiss pimiento, grated cheese, and cream cheese. That's it. Okay, we're good. Okay, bagay to sa fried chicken. We're good. That is how simple it is, and this will already make your kids so happy. So, another episode, another recipe that I've shared with you that's close to our hearts. Hope you enjoy! So, after debating, um, Leon and I decided we're gonna wait for another 20 minutes because paka naman mas masarap. So, even bake muna namin. We're going to wrap this with aluminum foil, sa kapriti sing oven, and then we will bake for 20 minutes. So, we finished baking 20 minutes. There. That's how it looks. It looks settled. And remember the garlic bread na kailangan gumawa kami ng garlic bread pero wala kami garlic bread? Ito na siya. Looks good naman, di ba? Yeah. Okay? Not that I'm promoting, pero masarap mag soft drinks. In a hot afternoon with this meal with us. So, let's eat, kuya. Kain ako. I haven't cooked this in a long time. I'll get for you, ha? Okay. Si, pag si... Ganto sila, o tiga mo. Isang Pyrex, ubos na ka agad, eh. Okay. Oh no! <gasps> Sorry! And then, my hands are clean, Kuya. Okay. Give you your garlic bread. Mmm! Then, I'll put more, more, more. Not being biased, more. Not really. being biased. Yay! And so, this has been our one of your favorites since you were so small. And you never outgrow your I don't know, childhood favorites, no? Mm -hmm. Try the garlic bread. Good it's a good thing we waited. The cheese, and this is really good. You should really make this for your kids. Um, not even just for your kids, ah. pang party na to, or this is nice yung pang regalo. Papadala mo sa friends mo, di ba? So, there you go, another episode. Um, baka maubusan na ako, ah. Lahat, na <laughs> lahat ng paborito ng mga bata, sinishare ko na sa inyo. Wala na akong tinatago pa. So, more in our next episodes. Thank you for joining me once again. Bye!